great line for um, any web or multimedia developer that says they have almost infinite number of distractions at a single click of the mouse. So if your video isn't catching and holding their attention, there's a good chance that people are going to go somewhere where it does. Good, oh, good sound. All right, there they men mentioned the microphone. Music, eh, can be important depending on the on the particular um, on the on the particular uh, context of it. And they mentioned Creative Commons. If you don't have any money uh, to, you know, or you you don't have a, you know, musical talent of your own. Here's a case study which talks about a particular organization and how they used and how they embedded a video on their site, including why they put the video out on YouTube as opposed to embedding it on their own site. All right? Now, we're going to embed this. You know, we're going to learn the HTML to embed the code, uh, to embed the web page, assuming you know it, it is on your server. So we're going to learn that HTML code. But a really good option is just to put the the video up on YouTube. Why is that a good option? Because it's free. It's always there. Because it's free. Someone else is footing the bill for the the space, the disk space. And they can uh, watch it on anything, your phone. Absolutely. Your computer, your exactly. TV. Yeah. Everyone gets YouTube, exactly. Even the Wii, there's a YouTube channel on the Wii now. You know, uh, your, your phone can play YouTube. The Mac devices, which are anti-flash, can play YouTube. Everyone can play YouTube, <laughs> all right? So that's another advantage of doing that. Just to be complete, we're going to go and we're going to learn how to embed it on the page your own, but it sure ain't a bad idea to put your stuff out there. Um, Actually, if I had thought about it, I would have extended one of these assignments to, uh, well, the, the first assignment, to actually uploading it to YouTube. And you're welcome to do that. I, I won't make it a requirement. Uh, but um, the other thing is you run the, the chance of people finding your videos. People do find your videos on YouTube, if you, um, you know, especially if you, if you take the time to tag them and put the appropriate tags on them. Um, I literally have had tens of thousands of views on one of my videos on database stuff, all right, one of the more popular videos I have. Um, I probably have several, several hundred subscribers that subscribe to my videos, and each video I put up there over time probably gets, you know, between 50 and 100 views, which isn't bad considering I'm not even trying to solicit people outside of students in my own class. You know, I put them up there so people can view them, but it's not like I'm even marketing them. You know, could you imagine if you were actually marketing and you're actually trying to get viewers, you know, the potential that, that you would have with that. So people will find your stuff if it's good and if it's compelling and if it's about something that they're interested in. So yeah, YouTube is a, is a great uh, uh, reason for that. Any of those individually is a good reason for it, but taken together, they're all pretty good reasons. iMovie and Movie Maker, they have this. Here is my, I won't say my acting debut, because I think I um, did some acting in kindergarten. But um, here's a, a PSA I did for a class that I was enrolled in. All right, I got a good grade in it, so it must not be too bad. All right. We'll actually save this for a while. We'll save this till we start talking about your, your assignments. All right, the other things, here's a video converter. One thing, again, the characteristic that you run into is sometimes you have video in one format and need it in another for whatever reason. You run into that in multimedia all the time. So, you know, have some tools that you can go and you can convert the stuff between. Here's something you're going to use for your assignment, and I trust you'll only use it for things that are licensed under Creative Commons, but you can actually save videos off of YouTube, so it's pretty nifty. And then finally, some HTML tutorials <coughs> we'll be talking about. 
Let's look at your assignments. You have two assignments for videos, a, a small assignment and then a bigger assignment. First assignment, I want you to use that YouTube video uh, downloader and download one of my lectures. All right? That way I know it's licensed with the Creative Commons license. All right, so I know you won't get in any trouble there. I want you to extract a couple minutes from the video. You know, maybe pick something that I say that's important. I would assume within an hour lecture I say at least two minutes worth of stuff that's important. So find two minutes worth of stuff that's important. And edit it down to that. All right? Add some titles to it. All right, we'll talk about doing that. And then embed it in an HTML5 page. So let me show you what I mean. All right, let's find me on YouTube. Does it have to be from this class or can it be any of the It could be any of the classes. Really, if you're absolutely sick of me and you want to do another Creative Commons license video, that's fine too. But I just thought by saying my videos, I knew they'd be Creative Commons license. All right. If it's just for this class, what do we even care about the copyright? You don't, but it, I just want to reinforce the, 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 the concept of Creative Commons. So you're right. You could download something else if you really wanted to. Because when, we're talk, when you talk about that, the, just for example, the record companies are, are pretty much given up. Exactly. Uh, they don't, they no longer care about you putting uh, a musical performer's right. music on YouTube. Right. Um, you, as long as you're not offering the entire performance as a, as a file for download. Right. If it's streaming, you can put you can do anything you want anyway. Which I'm just about to show you a tool that you can go and download the audio portion of it. So, yeah, anything on YouTube. You now, again, it requires a little bit of effort on. All that's true, and that may be how people are acting, but I, I think it's my obligation as class to speak to the, the restrictions of the law. All right. All right, here we go. 15,000 views on that. Woo. Someone actually went and made a, a playlist of my CISS 143 class, which is good. No, no. I ain't got time for that. I will take this one because it's a small one. Oh, this is smaller still. doesn't really matter what it is. All right. So I'll go and open up my handy-dandy YouTube download tool. I will go put the URL for this video in here. And then I'll say download by URL. Not this one. Marks. This is a Java applet, I believe, because it's gonna. I think it's gonna ask me for permission. There we go. A problem occurred. Video might be protected. Interesting. Always trust.
this in another browser. Extensions? I will Oh, here we go. We can choose the quality that we save it or we can save the audio. Let's save as a medium quality MP4. downloads folder. Maybe the issue is we didn't have flash install? I don't know. Doesn't doesn't add up. Well it's behaving itself now, so we're downloading it. You don't have to use this total download by the way. If you have a, a an add-on or whatever they're called, um, then you can use one of your choosing. All right. Let's go into Windows Movie Maker then, which is part of Windows Live. And I can go, and I should be able to go in, add videos and photos. So I could add still photos if I wanted to, or let's see. I can go in and it will go and it will import this. And this is all 13 minutes worth of it. So there we go. Now notice when it imported it, it imported it in little blocks. So that's the total of Actually, those aren't, that's actually one long stream. It, it just displays it in blocks based on the size of the, the screen. That's there. The more space you have, the, the more blocks it shows. Okay. Now, well, how do I delete something? I can go to a point. Let's say if I decided here is where, um, let's say the first part of it, um, <coughs> boring and I talk about my weekend or whatever. I can go up here and say edit. I can say split. And so what I've done is I've now split that into two distinct video sections. And I can go pick this one and then go and remove it. So now I've gotten rid of the first couple minutes worth. All right. So again, maybe from here on in, the rest of the way it's not important either. There's no time reference? 
Well, the time reference is over here. So I can I can scroll that way and see it's moving it's moving the little playhead there and it's also showing me the time that it is. So if I was playing this what if I needed fractions of a second? For the purpose of editing. Probably use a better tool than this thing. <laughs> All right, um, and again, I could go in and split. Let's see. Actually, you can set. There's a trim tool. Oh, I could do it this way and this way. Oh, there you go. Okay. The trim tool gives you fractions of the second. Or you can go like this, and you can go and split. And then just delete the portion of it. So just by doing that, and again, this is just something you'll learn by playing around with it more than you'll learn uh, from from that. Now you can also insert photos, like I said. So maybe I want to put right here. I think it's getting pretty boring, so I want to put in a picture of a flower. All right, just to get people interested again. I could go and split it. And then not delete it, but then I could go in and oops, add photos. There's a picture of the flower. And I could go and it puts it there. I could then go and rearrange it. Whoops where I wanted it to be. So if I want it up here, I then get it there. And then it will go here. Our flower. What assigns you a specific amount of time that was there? If I go here and click edit, it shows me how long that image is going to show. So by default, I think it puts it in for five seconds, but you can go and you could you could change that. You could also like fade it in, fade it out if you want to, uh, and so on. Yeah. So I could fade it in, maybe, oh, that's the volume. let's see, volume, right, I think you go animations. there you go, there we go, then we could do a transition between the two, to have it going like this. Now again, and we'll, we'll play around with this more, and I'm sure you'll have an activity to do this. Now do keep in mind, like with the transitions, it's one of those things where a little bit goes a long way. <laughs> All right, if you're doing crazy animations every single time, you're going to fatigue your user. All right, um, we'll figure what we're going to do next time. The one thing that I, the one thing that I do need to cover is I need to cover how to, when we're done with this, how to save it and embed it as. Uh, an HTML document and import it. Remember, when I do this, if I go and save it, I'm saving the project. So if I go and save this in my documents, this will be very similar to what you had with Audacity. If we go and look at this, you'll see there's a My Movie Windows Live file. And this file, if you notice, is only 4KB, very tiny file. That actually points to the different clips in the file. So you're best off bringing all those into a folder and pointing to them so that you can keep everything together. We'll talk about the in more detail um, next time on this. Yes? So, like, say if you went and deleted your yeah. video, it messed up your My Movie file. Yeah, it messed up my My Movie file because a My Movie file just has pointers.
right, just as pointers to say, I'm going to play this clip from here to here, you know, and, and so on. Only when you go and export it do you actually have then the, the final project a, a tangible, tangible uh, video. All right. Thank you very much. Are you going to be